Hi witches! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing my favorite thing in the world, and that is building an altar. So for today, I wanted to show you my full cold moon in Gemini altar, um, and we're gonna start building that right now. So the first thing I did, of course, as always, is clean and cleanse my altar. This table has taken quite a beating this year. I've been doing so much magical work on it, and I just, oh, this thing has lasted me forever best $20 I've ever spent. Okay, so first things first, after we've cleansed our altar, the first thing that I'm going to put down is this kind of like glass tray thing. I thought it had a really beautiful pattern on the kind of outside of it. Um, and we are going to be making a manifestation bowl. Um, now I know that sounds a little bit weird. You might've heard of like abundance bowls, um, which are very, very common around this time, but I wanted to do something similar to that over on Patreon for our ritual. So we're going to be doing um, kind of a manifestation bowl and I have all of the instructions up for that over on Patreon so definitely check it out if you are interested. Next as with all things in my practice I really love having balance so um, I have this really beautiful black drippy candle here um, and just like a little pedestal. Next I am going to place this glass like vessel for moon water. Um, this I've actually had since the beginning of my practice so I wanted to really just feature it uh, in this altar, um, but I, I really like having the dichotomy of like fire and water and then the thing that we're working on in the middle. Um, there's just something really beautiful about that to me. So I'm actually going to put this like this, and that like that. Um, yes. Next I'll be adding my incense. So I have my little incense burner here and I'm going to just place that right there. And this is the incense that I'm using. It is the Sea Witch Botanicals Krampus incense. Um, they only have this out um, in like winter time so definitely snag it if you haven't. Next I have this adorable like tea light holder. I don't know if you guys can see all of that um, but I'm going to be using this. This is from Goddess Provisions and they sent they sent this one to me and I just I love it. I think it fits the color scheme of course of my altar perfectly plus the front has all these super cute little moon phases so I think it just works really well um, for this altar and I want to put it in the center so that's what I'm going to do. Now in wintertime I tend to use more crystals and other kind of inanimate objects rather than plants and herbs to decorate my altar simply because I like to use what I can find in nature um, when I am looking for plants and stuff. So um, for this month we are going to be using all sorts of crystals. I got a, I have, I'm just going to show them to you. Look at my crystals. Mwahaha. Look at all of the shiny. Some bloodstone. I have some, um, I have this really beautiful red tiger's eye um, as well as some clear quartz. I don't know if you guys can see that. Some selenite um, and then some onyx and obsidian. And I think this is a blue calcite, which is really, really beautiful. Um, so I'm just going to arrange these kind of around my altar. Um, and I like to do this intuitively. That's, it's just one of my favorite meditative practices whenever I am doing altar building. So, um, BRB. Next, because it would not be an altar of mine unless it had bones on it, I'm going to be adding some tiny little skulls that a friend of mine gave me many, many moons ago. Um, I believe these are mink skulls. They said they found them, so I, I don't know if they would even know. Um, but yeah, so I got some little skulls here and then... I am also going to be adding some antlers to um, my altar, and these are, again, some that I have had since the beginnings of my forays into witchcraft, so they're very special to me. Um, and again, I like to bring in those aspects of my old practice into my newer practice, or my more present practice, I should say. But beyond that, this is what my altar looks like. You know, it's not super duper fancy, there's not all sorts of crazy stuff going on, but just an assortment of items that I feel are going to help me connect a little bit further with this cold, full cold moon, excuse me. <laughs> As always, if you ever have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and have a fabulous full moon, everybody. Bye. <laughs>